constantly in your mind and perhaps serves as an inspiration for a lot of your work. And having been a part of both these projects and many of your other stage projects, um, it, it's actually been a privilege to have been a part of the family of those productions. And you seem to have this innate talent, uh, I, I'd like to share this with everybody, an innate talent to create these families with whichever project you are working on, whether or not it is in the theatre or whether or not it is in film. What is your secret, Lynn? I mean, how do you how do you do this? Okay. It always turns out to be like one of the best times in, in all our lives and, and we never want to stop working when we're working on on a project. In the Blue Mansion we all wanted to go and settle down in Penang and live in a commune <laughs> forever. <laughs> okay, I I'll I'll try to keep this out of simple. Um in, in, in everything that I do, theatre or film, I think what I want the audience to get at the end of the day is a warm glow, okay, um, when they leave the theatre or, or the cinema. Um, I want them to either, if they don't feel good, I want them to think about, about how to make their lives better or to, you know, or maybe they thought of their loved ones. Um, ultimately, you know, I, I think art needs to spread love. I need to spend love because our world can heal with certain views a lot more love. So I start from that premise. So so when I want to create a, a, a piece of art which is going to try to spread this message of love, um, I need to create it within my own working uh, environment, right? But I, I, I have to make sure that my actors and my crew are all one big happy family because creating art is very, very difficult. You know, it's very, very painful, um, especially to make films. Um, uh, a lot of money is riding on it. It can be very tense. Um, you have a certain number of hours to, to shoot. Um, I need to create an atmosphere of love because I want my actors and my crew to understand that when you're creating a work of art, which is really a work of truth, um, so we need to have that working environment which will help, you know, help this, this piece of art eventually when it goes up to the world. So I, it just stems from that really, I, I, um, which is why I always believe it's very important, never to lose my temper on a set, you know, n never to shout at anyone, and just create this loving environment so that by the end of six or seven weeks, everyone doesn't want to leave, because you, you, they feel so much part of this work of art. You know, um, I could never have done this. Um, art is always a collaboration. Yeah. Well, certainly for every single person, I would say, especially the actors working on both these projects, the uh, feeling extends beyond the DVD. It lives on inside us all the time. I've got, uh, I've got a question about um, the future for you. Do you have uh, a new film in mind? Um, and if you do, could you share some details with us? Okay, um, I haven't spoken to, this, to anyone, so, this, so you're, you guys are the first one hearing this. Um, yes, I, I, I have a film in mind. It, it's a very, very small film. It's not like the Blue Mansion. Blue Mansion was quite big budget. Uh, my next film is actually called Yellow Flowers. And um, it's very low budget. It's very guerrilla. Um, it will have no actors. I mean, no well-known actors. Um, Blue Mansion has got, you know, all the best actors in Singapore, um, from the CSA and from film, and from Malaysia as well. In my next film, with a very low budget, um, most of the actors will be unknown. Um, it's called Yellow Flowers. Um, part of the reason is that it really is the flip side of the same coin. Blue mentions one side of the coin, the flip side is um, Yellow Flowers. If the top of the coin, the blue mansion, represents the elite in Singapore, then the flip side, the yellow flowers, will represent the end of class in Singapore. Um, so really, they're going to be both sides of the same coin. Um, and it deals with life, life, life in Singapore. Um, uh, it, you, know, you know, with the recent elections, there's a lot of talk about the people that have been left behind. Well, I hope this film is going to uh, at least be a voice for these people who have been left behind. It's not they've been left behind. So when can we all expect um, to watch Yellow Flowers? Um, 
the, the script is being finalized now, um, and we're going to film festivals um, around the world trying to raise some money. Um, it's low budget, but still, I, I, I had to raise some money because um, I didn't make any money in the Blue Mansion. <coughs> and um, so I just spoke the way. Uh, so uh, I will really need to uh, raise some money now for my next film. But I hope to start shooting maybe in December or January. And <laughs> it might be out in um, the middle of next year. Now, this uh, DVD box set was produced, it was designed, it was put together by yourself. This is a highly unusual endeavor for any filmmaker, not just here, but anywhere else. Madness or genius? Why did you decide to do that, Glenn Wee? It's definitely madness, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no genius. I'm just mad. Um, um, you, you, this may not look like a DVD box set to you guys, but I, I, I didn't want, I don't think my films are like any, I mean, I like all the other films. You know, I, I mean, my, my films are so personal and, and then made independently because I produce and I write and I direct my own films. Um, so, so in case you all don't think this is a DVD box set, it, it, it is. I mean, maybe it looks like a book. Maybe I wanted to look, look like a book, actually. Um, which is why it's very apt that it should be um, officially uh, released here in Kino Kinsinia, my favorite bookshop. Um, <clears throat> so I, I think I probably told Vanna like, I wanted to look like a book. So if you can put it on a book, uh, bookshelf. But yeah, um, you know, I, my, my films are like my, my babies, you know. Um, they need care and they need love. And I didn't want just to sell them to a DVD distributor um, who would just be trying to sell it for profit. Um, for me, I hope that my films will be watched over and over again um, and passed down to, through generations, you know. Um, so I, I hope this DVD box that looks, you know, well, stands out from all other, other box boxes. But also, I, I felt that um, uh, in, in this DVD box set, I, I got some academics. Um, uh, one Kenneth Paul Tan, Professor Kenneth Paul Tan from the Institute of Equal Institute of Policy Studies, um, to write an essay on the Blue Mansion. Um, and I have uh, an artist critique for all young who is written a uh, critique of the Blue Mansion as well. Um, and similarly, for the Forever Fever, I had um, a lecturer called Marcus Tan from uh, NUS. He lectures and uses my film to teach linguistics um, and, and the Singapore identity through linguistics. Um, using um, the fever. So um, there, there are some interesting essays in the film, and I felt that, again, just bear in mind, hopefully, that after I die, people will still, you know, he will still watch the, the film. And then, but because they don't have the, the context of the film, at least hopefully the essays will form the context of the film for them. Fantastic. Producing, directing, basically being head, still completely hands on. Um, is a style that you put into the making of your films as well, not just putting, putting together the DVD. Madness or genius, and are you going to be doing that again for Yellow Fever? Uh, yellow Cloud. Yellow Cloud. <coughs> <laughs> 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 same thing, same thing. Sorry. It's alright. Um, I'm not going to be doing the same thing. Um, I, hope not. I, 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 I hope not. I hope not. Producing is not really my cup of tea. Uh, it's just that I haven't, found, I haven't been able to convince you to produce my film. That's the problem. That's why I've, I've had to produce my own film. Because Inwa, other than an amazing actress, is also an amazing um, producer. But uh, I haven't, till today, still convinced her to produce anything for me. But we're looking forward to it. We want to act for you and have a really great time. And I, I gave you a good time. And I gave you a good role. I know, now it's time to get down. Yeah, I know. Payback time. Yeah, payback time. time. But no, uh, I don't think I'll be producing my next film. Okay. But um, um, obviously I'll be, be uh, directing. Yeah, yeah, directing. And not writing it, but I came up with the story. So yes. Ken Craig wrote, you mentioned it's writing, it's good for me. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Uh, we're going to close off um, this afternoon's question and answer with, yes. Can I ask you, yeah. uh, based on 10 years ago and now, freedom of expression, has it changed? Is it more relaxed now as an artist? Well, obviously, um, 10 years ago we didn't have Facebook. So obviously with social media, things have changed a lot as we have seen in the past few months, right? We have to the elections, um, a lot of people being more vocal and uh, being not afraid. Uh, so yes, of course, it has changed a lot. Um, yeah.
I would answer that it can change as much as you want it to yeah. change, if you ask yeah. me. How <laughs> yeah, you hand. know, yeah. You can, any one of you can change it. I mean, nobody told them to make this movie or to make this movie uh, or to say whatever he wanted to say in the movie, but he just wanted to say it. The only difference is he got up and he did it. And I think that's really what makes a difference. So yes. But I think okay, social, social media is also giving, especially the younger generation, more power and more confidence to, to speak their mind, you know, because for, for, for my generation, when we were at school, we were taught that we had, we had a, an idea, you know, we weren't encouraged to speak up. We were only taught there was only one way. You know, I, I thank God, you know, the, the younger generation, I think they're, they're more vocal and, you know, they all have their own opinions. I think that's good. You know, and I think social media has given, empowered the younger generation to speak up and to realize that they're not alone. Yeah, they're not alone. You know, when they have a, a different thought from society or from the government, that other people are thinking the same way. You know, uh, so they don't have to be afraid, and they're not alone. So yeah, I, I think it has changed a lot. But having said that, talking about freedom of expression, I mean, you know, um, um, in my film, um, in order to get N16 uh, rating, I had to cut a scene. Um, otherwise, they would give me an N18. Um, uh, rating, which this video is M18 by the way, so those of you who are 18 and below, you're not allowed to buy this DVD, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be fine. And so, Timothy McCracken, yeah. But so, 18 and above only. Um, so, so, I mean, there, there's still some restrictions, but, um, I, I, but I, I think, yes, I, I think one answer is very, very true. You know, the power is each, is in all your hands. You know, we all have the power to make the change that we want to see happen in this country. We all have that power. But there is also something that Glenn does which is quite unique to Glenn and which I would like to share with everybody. And that is that Glenn doesn't think about, oh, I, I, I want the freedom of expression and that's why I want to make a movie like The Blue Mansion. What he does is he just thinks about what he wants to say and then he spends all his time saying it in the best way that he can. Too many Singaporeans, I think, are always thinking about, mm, should I, you know, should I even try and, 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 and say the truth? But the fact of the matter is, if you've got something to say, what you should actually spend time on is how to say it well. And I think that really is, you know, is, is something that, that, that I would say Glenn totally does with all the projects that he's worked on. Actually, since we're, we're here, uh, you know, with question and answer, any other questions? Yeah, Glenn, a uh, question for you is that, uh, what is your greatest challenge when coming out with this blue mansion, Thank you. Yeah.